Let's get ready to go to the opera tonight. You'll never go to the opera again. Using things that I got at the Sephora VIB sale. Very excited to try out some new things. So let's get started. So I got this, the In Beauty Face Glaze because my Say Concealer that I use doesn't go well over my primer, my illuminating primer, but I did want a little illumination, you know, with my, with my foundation complexion product. So I was watching, um, the beauty YouTubers that I watch and, um, State of Kate recommended this. So we're gonna try it and it's just a moisturizer. It's illuminating moisturizer. It's not a primer. So I'm gonna put, so I have my heavier moisturizer and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in here. Oh, look at that tiny little stream. Oh, it's so dainty. Okay. And I'm just gonna I don't rub it in all the way because I leave it a little bit um, sticky still so that I can blend it with my concealer. But that's got a really nice illumination to it. It's not glittery, it's not sparkly, but it's definitely picking up the light. Really nice. Okay. So say concealer next in color three and a half. And I just use one wand full. So whatever's on the one wand, that's what I use. And then we blend. And I'm using the big say brush to blend. That blended really nicely with that face glaze in there. That's nice. It just has that little bit of all over illumination that I like. And I obviously don't use a lot of coverage. You can still, there's a giant zit on the end of my nose. I don't really care. I just kind of like more of an even canvas to put other products on top of. I've just found that because I was not wearing any kind of like foundation or anything. And I noticed that eyeshadow and blush and stuff wasn't adhering as well. So this is really just like kind of canvas prepping. Okay. So the product I'm really excited to use is, you know that I've been looking for a mauve lipstick. I found one, Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in color Veronica, which I actually used to own years ago when um, when these products first came out. I owned, I think, every single color of Anastasia Liquid Lipstick. So I'm really excited to use this color again. So we're going to do a mauve look for tonight.
So I'm going to do my cheeks first because I'm not really going to do a lot of eye product. I did get a new eyeliner. I'll show you that in a second, but we're just going to do this cheek. So I'm using Ritual Defeat in Desire, this mauve color. And as always, I put too much product on my hand, but you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, next I think I should do my eyebrows. And I cannot, the NYX brow glue, I cannot find my regular brow brush um, anywhere. So I'm really bummed about that. I mean, it didn't just get up and walk away. But I can't find it. Hashtag neurodivergent problems. Getting my eyebrows laminated again this week, and I'm so excited. Um, for me, to, getting my eyebrows laminated is literally a necessity if I want to be able to manipulate them at all. It's not to make them stand up. It's not to like big fashion eyebrows. It's literally so that I can just try and move them because they are so coarse and they grow down. So to just get any kind of shape out of them, I have to laminate them to soften the hair. Um, ooh, let's do that new eyeliner next. So the other, one of the other uh, beauty YouTubers I watch, and I forget her name right now, um, Michelle something, but I'll put it below. She tight lines her eyes like I do, and she said that the Hourglass eyeliner is amazing. I'm currently using the Urban Decay um, waterproof waterline eyeliner and it's good it's just not it doesn't stay forever 
and I'm not even wearing it all day. I'm wearing it for like a few hours. So we're gonna try this hourglass one and see if it stays longer. So this is the hourglass waterproof gel eyeliner in Obsidian. Ooh, I hate it when the caps don't fit on the back because I'm gonna lose that. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, then. Wasn't what we were going for, but shows you how soft it is. Let's see. This is always a challenge. Nope, we're gonna do it this way. <sighs> there we go. It's so much easier for me to do it in the mirror that's on this door because I can stand right up to it. That's a nice black line. Hold on, I'm gonna cry a little bit. Okay, well, it goes on beautifully. <sighs> but with all this crying, it's probably not going to last very long. Okay, we'll see in a second. Okay, let's put our highlighter on. Ritual Defeat in Moon Pillar. It's like this pinky lavendery color. There we go.
nice. I was looking at um, baby pictures of myself and there was one where the light is hitting me perfectly and I have the perfect highlight on my nose and so I remember that I'm like that that's how the highlight looks. Okay, let's do let's do another layer of liner. That was much easier and a lot less waterworks that time. That goes on really nicely. Ooh, I had a good seal on my mascara. <gasps> what happened? Oh, I didn't have a good seal on my mascara. It broke. I don't think. Yeah, I don't have any other mascara. What a freaking. Do you think we can use it a little bit? Ooh, that's a lot. I can comb through with my other spoolie. Okay. Well, that's a bummer because I would have bought mascara at the sale. If I knew that was going to break. But actually, I want to try the Thrive Tubing Mascara. That's apparently like the best one. So, order that and hopefully get it before I leave next weekend for my cruise. Okay, well, we may do with that. So, the component broke. That sucks. In the trash it goes. Can't even close it back up. Okay. So lipstick time. Lip liner in Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever. And the new lipstick, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Veronica. Anastasia also makes another color called Heathers. Dear Diary. So I feel like this ties in with that. I could be wrong, but it's just my guess. Okay, let's see.
definitely a brownier mauve than I was looking for. I was definitely looking for a grayer, grapier mauve. Hmm. It's not bad. I wonder if I had used my purple lip liner under it, if it would have given me a little more of the color I want. It's not bad. It's drying down well. You gotta give it a second. But yeah, maybe, maybe next time I'll try it with a, my purple lip liner. Give me that great undertone I'm looking for. Not bad though. Definitely the look I'm going for. Nice. Okay, let's set it and then we'll move on to hair. This is the Euphoria Pregame Skin Moisturizing Setting Spray. Okay. Oh, before we move on to hair, I can show you. I'm also trying this... Um, Kosa Sport deodorant, new deodorant. Um, it's an HSA. It's an AHA deodorant. So it has like exfoliating alpha hydroxy acids in it. So we'll see. But um, Khaki, another beauty YouTuber that I love, it was on her list of things to buy for the Sephora sale. Getting these boxes open. without ripping the box or pulling my nail back is never works out. Okay, so we're gonna try this. You're supposed to shake it really well, apparently. And then I have my mesh bodysuit on under here already that I'm gonna wear under my dress tonight. All right, let's see how that, see how it works. I got it in the fragrance-free version. So, see how we feel about that because the deodorant I got at Mother's was not, not cutting the mustard, so to speak. Okay, now we can do hair. And I got new hair stuff. So I used to use Bumble and Bumble back in the day and I stopped because it's fragranced and I really don't like products that are fragranced. And so I found a lot of good substitutes. What I'm still struggling to find though is a good um, balm and wax. So that's what we got. So Brilliantine is what I used to use ages ago, and it's styling cream for separation and sheen. 
and I love it because it's in this teeny tiny tube and it says, you know, use sparingly. It says our first ever product gives hair polish and a sort of languid slept in look. Work through damp or dry hair, use sparingly. Well, they haven't met my hair. Ugh, and, but yeah, it smells. I mean, some, I'm sure people like it, which is why I'm sure it smells that way. But okay. So this is back in the rotation. Welcome back. But then I'm also trying something new called Sumo Tech. It's a flexible low shine cream solid, which also smells. But look at that. So let's ooh. Look at that consistency. That's what I've been looking for. And I really, really wanted my matte paste from Afterworld Organics to be this, but it's just not. That one is much stiffer and it's gritty and I have to work it in my hands a lot and then it's still gritty. So I was really hoping this would be it. Oh, and this texture is incredible. So this texture is the texture of my matte paste when I like mix it for God knows how long. So it's not, I don't want to sit here and like mix product for a really long time to get the grit out. I want to just put it in my hands and put it in my hair. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was looking for. This, you stink. Why? Why do we put fragrance in products? Why? Can I just make my hair look the way I want it to look? Um, without you deciding how I'm gonna smell? But this is exactly what I wanted it to do. And then last but not least, I also got the Sumo Liquid Wax and Finishing Spray. So. Oh, this. Oh, that really stinks. Oh, God. Oh. Hopefully it goes away as the product dries down. Oh, there's a little, there's like a little bit of, like, like a lipstick, I don't know what you'd call it, like scab, a little lipstick scab on my lip. Okay, but that's what I wanted. I wanted waxy, balmy, dirty, like I just wanted it to get like muddy almost. There we go. Oh, I should put a little more on this, on the ends. This reeks. All I... I just want the product. I don't want the smell.
That's the texture I love though. It is, it's the texture of my hair um, when I was a kid. Oh, I'm coming out. And we'd go camping at the beach and it was just salty ocean hair after like five days. That's what I want. I want dirty, grimy, salty ocean hair that just stays put. Okay, I'm obsessed with these products are exactly what I wanted. But the smell is so much. So again, hopefully they dry down and evaporate. But that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited tonight going to see, I should have told you at the beginning, but going to see Verde's Rigoletto. It is a semi-staged opera. So there are performers obviously singing the opera. Um, but it is not a full costumed staged opera. I'm very, very excited. So, um, oh, you know what we need to do before I go get dressed is put my jewelry on. Okay. One ring. Two ring. Three ring. One necklace. So I use the little necklace stacker thing. So I have three necklaces on one. And it works well so I don't have to take off each individual necklace. But You do have to like put it on the right way. Ha ha, got it. And two necklaces. Ooh, earrings. I'm gonna put my earrings on. Okay. Okie doke, let's go get dressed. See you in a second. So here is my outfit for tonight. It is very warm outside right now. So I'm wearing this silk maxi dress, very, very lightweight. It's got a low back, but you can, I don't mind that you can see my mesh bodysuit. It doesn't bother me, but very breezy, very lightweight. Love it from Banana Republic. Oh, and I should tell you the mesh bodysuit is from Parade. And then my shoes are from Stuart Weitzman, just these 
I think they're part of the Nearly Naked collection from Stuart Weitzman. They're these rose gold um, wrap around flat sandals that basically are like being barefoot. It's like basically not having any shoes on at all. And then to go with my mauve lavender mood, here is my oversized mulberry lily in lilac, which it has a handle. I can carry it like that, but I use it like a clutch. So that's my outfit for tonight. Hope you like it. See you at the opera. I'm home. That show was amazing. It was so freaking good. The orchestra was on stage, which was really cool. So the orchestra was on stage and the performers were on stage. So they were sharing the stage. And there was one like small piece of set there way it was a doorway um and other than that it was just that just the performers but it was incredible oh it was so good but i'm so tired it's so late let's go to bed um so something else i got at the sephora sale is this paula's choice cleansing balm so See how it takes off the makeup. So the eyeliner didn't really hold up. I think it's in my tight line, but it's definitely completely gone from my waterline. And you can see it kind of migrated a little bit under my eye. That's a bummer. It's about the same as the Urban Decay one. So I'll probably go back. Um, also, I think the setting spray might have broken up my makeup a little bit. I'm not super happy about that either. So, you know, lessons learned. Ooh, I like the consistency of that. That's nice. It has a very like almost Vaseline consistency. Almost. Okay, ready for the fun part? Why so serious? Every time, never gets old. Okay, not bad. And then the next second clean, second cleanse, second clean is Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. Oh 
on my little tuletries face scrubber. Oh, that was so fun. That was such a great show. So, so good. Oh, I didn't, um, I didn't tell you, I should have told you. They had a big screen in the back and, um, it was really cool. They were projecting tarot cards and each character was represented by a tarot card, which was neat. I don't know what the affiliation is there, but that was really cool. And then they had a narrow screen where they had English subtitles for the words that were being sung, which, I mean, I'm sure that opera purists probably hate that, but it was great for knowing what they were saying. So I wasn't mad at it. Okay. That did a good job. That did a good job. Okay, so we took everything off. Now oh, let's get ready. To go to bed with some bedtime skincare. So I use three face mists, I know. A turmeric one, um, a sea mineral one, and then baby, che baby cheeks from Verst, which I actually put in my Indie Lee bottle. So it's not really an Indie Lee toner, it's baby cheeks but I like to spray it. And then this is my propolis essence. Um, and then Next is my glycolic acid resurfacing gel from Naturium, Naturium, Naturium. set for a second. Okay. That should have set down. Then aloe propolis soothing gel. Then Ordinary Moisturizer. Then Wildcat Ultra Hydrating Sleeping Mask. 
which is basically just a thicker moisturizer with different ingredients than the one from The Ordinary. And then before we lock all that in, put my eyebrow growth from New Brow, Brow Enhancing Serum. Grow, babies, grow. And then my hydrating lip peel. So this is um, an exfoliating peel for your lips. Come on. There we go. And then on top of that is Fit Glow Beauty's Nighttime Lip Treatment. It's just like a thick lip gel. And then jojoba oil. And then the last step is to seal it all in, we're going to slug with this unpetroleum jelly. Ooh, ooh, look at how shiny I am. Well, that's it. Time to go to bed. Um, I'm going to brush my teeth on camera. You don't need to see that. Okay. Thanks so much. Have a great night.